Off-road trucks are big business in America and nothing is bigger business quite literally physically than the series of off-road HD trucks that we're starting to see in America. The latest entry is this new GMC Sierra 2500 HD AT4X. It's already a really long name, but if you want an even longer name and an even more capable AT4X, it's gonna be over there with the AT4X AEV edition. We're gonna take a look at that in a bit, but let's talk about what you're gonna find in the new Sierra 2500 HD AT4X already. We of course have the AT4X red tow hooks down there, a slightly tweaked front end design, more ground clearance than we find in the regular Sierra 2500, up to 12 and a half inches in this model. We have Goodyear all-terrain tires over here, definitely big meaty tires. Let's check out the size on these. These are an LT305 70R18, so lots and lots of cushion there for rock crawling. We of course get the DSS valved shocks that we find in a number of other off-road vehicles from General Motors. You can get two different engines under the hood. This one has the Duramax 6.6 liter V8 under the hood. That's probably my favorite engine in a heavy duty truck at the moment. And of course it has the 10 speed automatic transmission, which I love in the rest of the Sierra HD lineup. If you'd rather have a gas engine, you can get that. But that is one big differentiator between this and say a Dodge Ram, or I should say just a Ram 2500 power wagon. Apologies there, it's no longer a Dodge. That vehicle is not available with a diesel engine. It's gasoline only, eight speed automatic only. So definitely some big advantages here with the AT4X. As we come around to the back, you can see the integrated side step there. And this is quite high off the ground. Even for me at six feet tall, this is definitely a high vehicle in the back. And you'll really notice that if we drop the tailgate, which is why we're of course gonna find the Sierra's multi-pro tailgate right back here, which turns into a step. There are also some accessories you can get in there, but even this is a pretty healthy jump up. So if you're much shorter than I am, you might wanna either think twice or maybe bring around some stilts to help, help you get into the new AT4X. Now, if you want something that's to the next level, then you want this one. This is the new Sierra 2500 HD AT4X AEV edition, which is an extremely long name, especially if you start removing those acronyms and spelling them out. Going in for a closer look, we have the same sort of graphics that we find embossed in the front end of the other model, HD right there. We also find the AT4X logo there, but the changes happen down here at the bottom where we find the AEV front bumper. This is a full metal bumper, of course, big, huge recovery hooks right there. Those are gigantic. This is where we plug in the engine block heater. We of course get the AEV logo right there on that side. And then a big winch right here in the middle with a synthetic uh, line right there. That's a really nice touch and it's very well integrated. Also critically important, this will work with the diesel engine. So if you want that Duramax diesel, you'll be able to get it in the AEV edition. And that's what a lot of folks really want out of their heavy duty truck is they want the heavy duty truck capability with some extra off-road stuff. And that's exactly what we find in here. So we find higher payload and higher towing capability than you'll find in the Ram. Uh, this one does not have a door sticker, so I can't give you specifics for this payload capacity. However, as we've seen in some of the other AT4 line trucks, this is definitely gonna be higher than that power wagon, probably very comparable to the Ford F-250 Tremor. Towing capability, that's gonna be over 18,000 pounds when properly equipped. So definitely lots of towing capability behind there. Now in the back, of course, we get an AEV modified bumper back here as well. Again, full metal bumper back here, integrated parking sensors there, those recover hooks that are very well integrated. Definitely a nice hefty uh, receiver right there. Same sort of towing connections here that we find in the rest of the truck lineup. So camera inputs for the invisible trailer functionality, the multi-camera functionality, which has always been something that I love with the GMC trucks. And then really interesting touch here with the multi-pro tailgate on this particular trim, we get the black accent trim. It looks like this is a sticker, so you could probably get it without the graphics if you want to. Before we hop inside, let's talk about some of the other ways to get in the vehicle. We of course have a retractable side step, a nice touch in a vehicle that is this high. Again, 12 and a half inches off the ground, so it is something that you will need to get inside the truck. On the inside, we find a lot of elegant touches because of course the AT4X is gonna be one of the most expensive ways you can get your Sierra in addition to being the most off-road capable. So we have piping and stitching running right there across the dashboard, lots of really elegant trim, big LCD infotainment system right there in the middle. This currently has my favorite infotainment software package available in this segment full LCD instrument cluster over there. Lots of buttons and knobs here. If you're worried about touch screens that you find in some trucks, fear not, lots of buttons going on there. Lots of attention detail, again, running right across the dashboard. Soft touch materials really everywhere. This upper glove compartment lid right there, this lower stitch compartment, more of that French stitching going on right there. 
big glove compartment below also. I probably could not fit a larger tablet computer inside, but some of the smaller ones would be just fine. The seats offer massage capability in this AT4X. You can see lots of really cool touches here. Lots of buttons down there for the adjustment. On the face of the seat, interesting textures going on on the side, heated and ventilated center sections over there. Moving back up here, we find the AT4X badge very prominent right there on the back of the seat. And in case you're forgetting which vehicle you're in because you're sitting in the seat, there's one right here in the center console just there to remind you. On the doors, we find upgraded trim and this very eccentric red stitching going on right there on the armrest. I think it gives it a really dressed up look. And to finish things off, we even get a suede headliner in here, but interesting twist, at least in this pre-production model, the uh, cover for the sunroof, which is a standard size sunroof, is not the same sort of suede material as the rest of the ceiling. As always, be sure and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of your screen because I'm going to get you all the details you'll need to know before you sign on the dotted line for your next 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 HD AT4X AEV edition, or of course the slightly shorter name, which is still really long, just that AT4X right there. One of the big things I love about this is very much the same that I like about the Ford Tremor in their heavy duty lineup, which is that we get the diesel engine and all the towing and hauling capability that you'd expect in a heavy duty truck with the off-road components. And that is all that we miss in the Ram 2500 HD. Theoretically, the entire reason to buy a heavy-duty truck is for the heavy-duty payload and towing capability, and you delete all of that in the Ram if you opt for the Power Wagon package. You don't do that same sort of thing over here in this, or of course the Ford Tremor. But exact details still remain to be seen, as well as pricing, which we should know closer to the on-sale date for this new AT4X version. Hit that subscribe button, find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, find the podcast, etc., and we'll see all of you later.